In Russia, rights advocates continue to push back against a set of new laws that broadly limit social freedoms. The crackdown comes amid a rise in political activism that started last December. President Vladimir Putin has called for calm, but more suppressive laws are in the works. FSRN's Ekaterina Danilova reports. Under the new laws set to go into effect in the fall, non-governmental organizations will be required to register as foreign agents if they receive support from abroad and engage in political activities. The government will create a blacklist of Internet sites that some have compared to the Chinese government's firewall. Fines for participating in unsanctioned political demonstrations have been greatly increased. And libel has been criminalized. Russian President Vladimir Putin met with some opposition members of parliament on Thursday about the new laws. He said they are part of the government's effort to ensure orderly political and social development that is appropriate for Russia. All of these decisions were the right ones and were motivated by the changing situation in our country. And I noted at the start the importance of keeping up with the situation. We always must remember when we're making our decisions where we are, what challenges we face, what consequences each decision might have, and how they will affect our country's life in general. A surge of popular protests that began in December ended years of quiet acceptance of Putin's rule. Maria Lipman is a political expert at the Carnegie Moscow Center. Mass protests, protesting first, against rigged elections and then gradually evolving as anti-Putin protests with tens of thousands in Moscow taking to the streets and chanting Russia without Putin is a new reality. Lipman says the government's reaction to the development of political activism has come in the set of restrictive new laws. The government did not, would not join a dialogue with those constituencies that are increasingly unhappy and even outraged. And there was no way to uh, maintain a status quo. Uh, So an obvious option is a crackdown. The new laws will allow the authorities to act against critics through legal means without resorting to violence, says Nikolai Baranov, a political scientist at the State Military Institute. The state is setting up the political field such that it is not connected with violence and is governed by the rule of law. For this, the best option is to make laws that protect the authorities as much as possible from critics, and at the same time, do not permit us to say that we have suppression, to say that we do not have freedom of speech or human rights, or that the security agencies are behaving outrageously. In addition to the new federal laws, a law banning the propaganda of homosexuality went into effect in St. Petersburg in March. 73 people have already been arrested under the ban, the police department reported Friday. Igor Kochetkov is the head of the St. Petersburg LGBT rights organization Coming Out. Actually, what is being shown is that our lawmakers are a bunch of incompetent people who became very afraid over the past six months. They saw that something is happening that they can't control, but they don't know how to control it. They won't be able to control it. They hope that they will manage to intimidate someone, to prohibit something. They are deeply mistaken. It is impossible to prohibit the civil society that is actively developing now in Russia. The political situation will further develop and fall when more restrictive legislation is expected, including the regulation of the activities of volunteers and the registration of media that receive foreign funds. The new laws will take effect during the next election season. Again, Baranov. In fall, there will be new elections, elections of regional authorities and governors, and in that period, it will already be impossible for the opposition and dissenters to do what they did before the summer of 2012. At the same time, activists say they will join together and continue their work. Lipman says the situation is unprecedented. The situation has become uncertain and unpredictable, and uh, uh, this is the first time ever during Putin's rule that any such thing happened. They cracked down on, actually, the societal forces. Activists are playing for a major increase in participation in the opposition movement in the fall, as well as holding more events. 
The next national action is planned for September 15th. Екатерина Данилова, ФСРН, Санкт-Петербург, Россия.